Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, today we're just gonna kind of do a shop update. It's winter time. It's cold out. It's uh, it's starting to uh, get dark really early. I don't have enough time to to charge batteries after work. Take my boats out every day. So we're actually gonna do uh, the drag boat build update. What I've gotten done so far. Kind of take a little closer look at it. Uh, unbox a couple packages. Um, one's from a subscriber. Uh, I got this box here. Uh, kind of what to expect the next couple weeks from the channel. Okay, so stick around, you guys. Big B with Ironclad RC. Yeah, man, the freaking drag boat's coming out pretty good, man. I've been working on it dead ahead. You can't really tell, but I've actually got a lot done. I got everything glued together. I got the sump, the tunnel bottom on. It's nice and straight. All right, uh, I got some of the cabins started. I'm actually uh, just finished up this little section right here. And let me tell you what, that was a lot of freaking work to get this board and this board sanded right, you know, and get it designed so there's no like sags in this thin birch or basswood. Um, I actually made like some, some glue up boards back here. I've been stripping out my cabin. Okay, it's actually coming out pretty good. All right. I got uh, the sponsons ready for the skins. Uh, probably gonna change up this right here. Okay, I don't like how it's like coming to a point and it's all flat on the bottom. So you guys see right here where I've actually made like a little angle. Okay, like a takeoff angle to help it jump up out of water. Probably gonna do a, a, a slight angle right here. Once I'm done, I'll probably cut an angle right there on the nose to kind of meet up to this break right here. You know, um, hell, I had a hard enough time designing the front of the boat and how to like figure trying to figure out how to do it i've actually already started epoxying because i won't be able to get to all this once i get it skinned so i've already laid down some i've actually got two coats of extremely thinned out epoxy i wiped it up the first coat and then i laid down my second coat i don't want any water to get into the wood so uh yeah i've already started that all right just in case i don't cut that relief cut right here you know just in case so uh she's actually turning out nice um got quite a bit of work done a little view from the side here when it's sitting on the tabletop i got the back of it lifted up with my finger here kind of like if it were underway uh stepped hydroplane you know um you know a, a hydroplane <laughs> uh usually rides on one ride surface you know unless you got a couple brakes in it uh, this one is going to be riding on two, you know, so I wish I could say it would be less <laughs> wetted area <laughs> But it's actually going to be more wetted area, you know, um, I may actually uh, Do something with this back one right here. I, I don't necessarily want that to touch the water, but I do want it to skim the water breaking off the back of this ride surface to actually give it a little bit of lift uh, that's my thinking it's my thinking anyway you know um i actually did some more work i'm inserting this into the video so i got that done i just got to round this part right here off but she's actually turned out really good let's get to the packages okay um so this one's already out so i'll go ahead and show you this i've actually had this for about four or five days now since the uh before the holiday this is a, a six foot roll, 12 inches wide, carbon fiber, okay? Just a plain weave, nothing fancy. 50 bucks for the resin, the hardener, and the carbon fiber on, on eBay. Uh, local seller, US seller, okay? Fast shipping, I'll include a link. Don't know how long the link will be good for, but I'll include a link. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. That's gonna go into the UL19. All right, we're gonna take the whole electronics tray out, motor mount, the whole nine, completely gut it out. All right, that's coming up. Let me get the camera set up for these guys here. Okay, this is from uh, one of my subscribers, Jared. He emailed me one day, asked me if I could uh, if I could use anything, if I needed anything at all. And um, you know, I I was like, I've been meaning to get a GPS. Uh, a GNS GPS every time I go to get it something comes up or I, I find something that I want more than GPS uh, a lot of my subscribers a lot of my viewers have been uh, want me to get 
this Sky RC GNS S performance analyzer and I finally got it thanks to Jared brother I really appreciate it okay uh, man that was extremely generous of you you know thank you thank you very much he got it from Michael's hobby all right Michael's RC hobbies uh, I think this is out of Florida okay uh, so check them out all right Jared thank you very much it's gonna go to use I just uh, I used my phone to record my video so I've actually got a find an old phone I could use <laughs> for this GPS you know make it that's why I don't use this because I use my phone to video <laughs> you know uh, my Samsung Galaxy Ultra you know whatever it is 21 I don't even know all right so uh, thank you brother this is a couple things I picked up for um, well you'll see all right so I didn't get this 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 is all from OSE offshore electrics I picked this up from an eBay seller this is a level box okay digital level box and uh, I, I got this so I can get my sponsons my ride surface on point once I start uh, skinning the bottom of the boat uh, so this is going to come in handy. I also got this for my UL19, setting my turn fins, setting struts. Once I start uh, blueprinting the bottom of my UL19, uh, this is going to come in handy. Something so basic and simple, you know, uh, it's something I should have had already, you know. And uh, you don't think you need it until you got it. And then once you got it... it you you, you 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 use it for everything you know what i mean i think every rc boater or rc boat builder should definitely have one of these level boxes or you'll probably need one of these at some point or another you know especially if you run hydros i also got this from ebay i've been shopping ebay uh this is some cheap solder all right from ebay it was like ten dollars for a big roll so i picked that up all right um so this is like i said this is from offshore electric steve vance bro okay so I'll show you guys this first. These are pretty cool. <laughs> These are some uh, medium, medium-sized TFL drivers. All right, and I got them. They're pretty cool. Uh, I got them for my my dead ahead RC wet pedal build. They're gonna be police guys, but they're actually the perfect size for this boat. They're just short. I wish they wouldn't have cut them off at the hip, you know. So we may we may need to make like a torso section so we can glue them to you know uh their hands are a little long well i don't know it might be perfect they might actually be good we might not have to make a torso all right so i'll give you a look at them in the boat here if they'll stay in place pretty nice looking drivers they got nice detail only ten dollars you know we might paint up their vest kind of give them a police officer look and uh, a nice paint scheme to match, you know? All right, so uh, they actually came with a little steering wheel as well. All right, and also got a motor mount for the UL19. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, I think it's a TFL mount, to be honest with you. It's got carbon fiber rails, okay, with aluminum motor, like back, like a back or I guess forward motor mount with the back motor plate. Oh geez, I just realized I got the water cooled motor plate. <laughs> well, I guess I could take the nipples out. A couple extra nipples won't hurt, you know. <laughs> geez. Oh well, oh well. It's a it's just, I think it to be honest with you, I think it's a TFL motor mount rebranded offshore electrics. I think it'd be a good mount for the UL. You know, when you get your mount, when you're picking out a mount for your UL nineteen and or your uh mono hull, make sure you get the right one because one one actually sits higher in the boat and one actually will the motor will set lower down in the V so make sure you get the right motor bed for your uh, the your particular hole the, the hole you're picking the motor mount out for so you know pay attention to that so uh, I think it'll be good I think it'll be perfect <laughs> water cool <laughs> I'll be going in the UL19 for a 40 series motor no turning back now and uh, some bullet some eight millimeter castle bullets for the TP motor going into the Blackjack 42 so we could do a couple speed runs with that TP power. All right. Boom! 
all right since i shot the video i actually finished this up okay i'm still working on sanding it and all that but it actually looks pretty good i gotta trim up this front piece and uh, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. I made this little sanding stick. I thought it was pretty nifty. I actually made it so I can sand this little piece of wood I glued in there off. <laughs> it actually works perfect. But while I was building this, I actually used it to knock some of my high spots down. And uh, it actually works pretty good. You know, just a quick little sanding board. All right. So I want you guys' opinion real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a rundown of what we got here and get your opinion. Drop a comment. All right, so we got the UL19 build we could do, okay? Do y'all want to see the UL19 uh, carbon fiber? You know, the inside with the motor mount installed. Do y'all want to see that first? Do y'all want me to get the TP Power 4060 in the Blackjack 42 with the Sky RC GPS with the Hydra? You know, get that going again. See what we can do with that. The UL19, the 42, or do you guys want to see the the RC police boat painting and uh, installation of the scale drivers? Which one do you guys want to see? Okay, um, I've also also got this to work on this week winter but i'm still actually sanding and profiling the boat and i still gotta lay a top coat prime it and all that good stuff so that's actually coming up probably after first of the year okay that guy right there still working it out so we got the dead ahead rc wet pedal police boat process build the uo19 build or the 42 get it out before the weather gets cold y'all let me know all right, I still got to find a phone for this, so uh, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. It's up to you guys. Whatever gets the most comments, the most votes, well, I'll go with that for the next couple of videos, okay? So uh, we'll see you guys next time, man. Uh, the drag boat's turning out pretty good. She's turning out pretty good. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm going to start designing the hatch now so I can start working on that, working out all the kinks for that, designing the back hatch area, how that's going to work out. Probably going to make a wooden blown turbocharged v8 engine i've tried finding some scale ones online uh on ebay i, I messaged a couple sellers to get some dimensions I hadn't got any responses yet so uh yeah we'll see you next time the video's long hopefully you guys enjoyed the little update y'all let me know your opinion we'll see you next time big b what i rc